Hi, I uh, recently did a pyro shader with Houdini and the result was pretty good, I think. So I want to show you how I got there. Um, this is a brand new scene. I'm going to do a couple of things here first. I'm going to disable the simulation because I have a cache file. I'm going to change the, the length to 120. Apply. Close. And I'm going to create a geometry file. And I'm going to bring in the cached files. And there it is. Okay, great. Let me just uh, run this through. Yeah, it's coming up. I'm going to render frame number 60 because uh, that's what I want to render. I'm just going to zoom out here a little bit and maybe set up the camera right here. I think this is good. Create a camera. Control. Click on the camera. Yeah, got it. Just gonna remove this one. <coughs> uh, the first thing I want to do is I'm gonna create a an RS light, which is the sunlight. Uh, I'm gonna create Control Press and click on RS Sun. I'm gonna go back to the camera. So with RS Sun, I want to change a couple of things. The first thing is the cont volume contribution scale from zero to 10, uh, maybe you can change the samples to 64. You don't have to, but anyway, so I'll change it. And uh, turbidity to four, just to give it a little yellowish tint. And the intensity multiplier to 0 0.1. And that's us done with the sunlight. Go back to the camera, and I'm gonna change this to 1980 and go to redshift camera big exposure enable big exposure that's good go to geo and go to redshift object and enable tessellation and make sure the volume is set also which um, by default these are ticked nothing to change there uh, i'm going to create a shop network uh, before which i'm just going to save this file as untitled it doesn't matter I'm going to create a shop net and go inside. I'm going to create an RS volume right here. I'm going to leave everything at default here for now. And I'm going to go and click on render, assign the material. Oops, where is it? It's right here. Okay. I'm going to assign the material and I'm going to see how it looks. Before which, I need to create Redshift. That's great. I created that. I'm going to drag and drop this here. In Redshift, I have um, by default got some things enabled. I'm going to reset this to factory. And the one thing I'm going to change though is to go into system under bucket size. I want to change it to 256 because that's the uh, that's a better option <clears throat> to do it with. Right before I do anything else, I'm just going to go and hit render and see how it looks. Okay, that looks okay. And one more thing I wanted to change is going to IPR, take the override IPR camera resolution. I'm pressing Shift H to fit the entire um, render in the window. And go back to object. So now let's go into ShopNet and start creating ours volume. So we know that this is the um, the first render, so I'm going to take a snapshot of this and I'm going to stop it. And let's go into R's volume, leave the channel to density, scatter coefficient to 1. Um, just change these to uh, B spline because it gives you a smoother curve. And color channel, I'm going to leave it blank. Absorption coefficient, leave it at default to 1. Change these to B spline also, but the positions will all remain the same color channel will also be empty and for emission I'm gonna enter the channel as heat and change the scale to 2 and for the emission remap ramp first of all I want to change this to B spline and this also to B spline so all I'm going to do is I'm going to create four points one two three for. The second point would be uh, yellow. Uh, that would be B's 
one, yes. Third point would be orange. The fourth point would be bright red. And the fifth point would be dark red. Kind of. Let's see how it goes. Right, okay. And then multiply with ramp. I'm going to type in temperature. You don't need to do this, but anyway, you can. You know, I don't think it makes any difference. Right, I'm going to save this now. I'm going to go into advanced. Um, change the shadow density to 8. Leave the density remap range old min to 0 and old max to 1. Uh, new min would be 0, but new max would be 4. Emission remap with old map. I want to change it to 0 0.04. The old max to 2. New minimum to 0. Uh, leave it at 0. New max to 4. So that's all the settings. And I'm just going to go back in here. I'm just going to leave it up. Right. Let's see how that looks. Okay, um, I think it already looks um, really good. I think anyway. So let me change this red to slightly darker. Uh, slightly darker red. And that one to slightly darker also. I don't want too red. red. Okay, I think they look. I think that looks pretty good for a very simple set up uh, this is pretty much how I got it um, you know so hopefully um, oh actually you know what before I say all of those things I'm gonna save this I'm gonna go into out and go to the redshift let's just check some of the parameters here go to redshift uh, global illumination and change the global illumination primary engine brute force secondary to irradiance point cloud and that should be okay I'm gonna change this to 64 also so I think that looks okay now uh, what else do I have to change uh, yeah this one randomized pattern on each frame um, I'll uncheck that because that's to do with the uh, noise and I'll rather it have the same noise pattern throughout. Um, I mean, you can use the uh, noise cancellation or noise reduction technique, uh, which is available in Redshift now. I don't know where it is now. But, uh, uh, where is it? Mm, output, maybe. Oh, denoise. There you go. Optics. And if you want to use denoise, um, I would suggest you change this to 40 because that'll be the minimum um, it'll do, which means that if you leave it at a lower value, um, it won't denoise very well. So a 40 would be a decent, decent size. Right. I'm just going to save this again. And I'm going to do a little render. And I'm going to come back and show you how it looks. Okay, the uh, render is done. It took 15 minutes and 18 seconds. I ended up only rendering 80 frames, but it's still pretty fast, um, in my opinion. Anyway, here's the uh, final result. Okay, so I think it looks uh, pretty solid. Oh, it's a little stagger. Uh, staggered because I think it's because of screen recording. I'm not really sure, um, but anyway, the shader itself looks uh, pretty good for five minutes. You know, five minutes of work on it. So I hope you liked it, and um, you know, if you did like it and if it was useful, please like, um, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, uh, it's much appreciated if you could do that. Um, so that's from me, and um, have a good day. Thank you.